My name is Eric Scheninger. I'm an associate partner with the International Center for Leadership and Education. As we think about COVID-19, you know, we've had to really reflect on where are we at with education? You know, what's worked in the past, but what do we have to do differently? And as the pandemic came across uh, back in, you know, late February and March, you know, schools were caught with their pants down. And it wasn't that, you know, it's not that educators aren't doing a great job, but that preparation, that mindset just wasn't really in place. You know, what we've seen is educators have been flying the plane while building it. What we've learned is that a virus cannot stop their commitment to kids. And as we think about leadership, you know, as we think about leading in this remote learning world, we have to really take that critical lens to our practice. We have to understand that, you know, with a focus on remote learning, it's not distance learning, it's not virtual learning, because some of our kids do not have high functioning Wi-Fi and uh, devices at home. And what we have to realize with leadership is we have to be flexible. You know, whether you're a teacher leader, building leader, or district leader, you know, we have to be flexible, understanding that there is not one right way. The right way is your way. But there are guidelines and focus areas that can help us chart a path to success. You know, we have to look through an empathetic lens. You know, we have to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. And we have to understand that, you know, with families losing their jobs, with, with kids that, you know, might only have access to one device. We have to be cognizant of the workload that we're assigning. Is it relevant? Is it meaningful? You know, we think about leadership. It's about learning from others. Now is not the time to reinvent the wheel. You know, we can utilize digital tools and make connections and learn what urban, rural, suburban districts are doing. We must focus on realistic and fair grading practices so that all kids really are getting an indication as to whether they're learning or not. We have to connect with families, provide professional learning support, and make sure that kids are safe online. As we think about leading and going into the future, a lot of lessons have been learned, and we can ill afford not to implement some of these lessons to reinvent or transform teaching, learning, and leadership when school comes back uh, online with our kids. When we welcome students, teachers, administrators, and staff back, we have to focus on what that re-entry plan is going to look like. Right now, yes, we wanna make sure that it's pedagogically sound when it comes to remote learning. We wanna make sure that kids are progressing through concepts, through scope and sequence of the curriculum. We wanna make sure that they're getting feedback but as we reopen our schools, it will take bold leadership to make sure that budgets are utilized in a way that will ensure health and safety. We want to make sure that professional learning support is provided so that blended learning can be implemented in a pedagogically sound way. We want to make sure that as leaders, it is important to focus on bridging the digital divide actually closing the digital divide and making sure that there's equitable access. We have to be cognizant of addressing and closing the learning gaps. We have to also make sure that we're looking at the schedules. Social distancing can be in place. And as leaders, we have to be forward thinking. What will our classrooms look like? What will our schedules look like? What will the precautions for hygiene and safety for our teachers, administrators, and kids look like? And finally, as leaders, you will not find an effective leader who is not an effective communicator. We must really focus on building relationships with our families now and continue to do so because that relationship will be vital to the reopening of our schools. These are few of the concepts and ideas that I will go into much greater detail in a subsequent webinar.